Hi guys, I'm Kelsey. And I'm Jamie. And this here's Pippa. And this is our bus. It is a 2001 Thomas school bus that we converted into our very own tiny home on wheels in just eight months. She has 200,000 miles on her, is 38 feet in length with 28 feet of interior space. Welcome to our crib. Come on in. Obviously the front section, I don't know why I'm sitting here like I'm driving. I'm parked, I'm not going anywhere. So this is the cockpit. Got a nice little reverse camera. This is quite cool. Our little school bus toy to show what we've come from. Down here we've got like some shoe storage, little cubby hole, we don't really know what we're gonna do with this yet. Might make it into a little place for Pippa. Then coming further in, this is our couch area. Um, we took these cushions from a friend and reupholstered them. We actually have a video on that. It was like 60 bucks or something for the whole thing, 80 bucks. So we have a table that goes here that like doubles the floor pan of the couch. And there's also some storage down here, as you people know, who are uh, either converting a school bus or looking to have one. It's very important to have storage wherever you can find it. So we have these little bins here with electronics, um, blankets, just other things to kind of store. And then even more secretly around the corner there, we have Pippa's little area. And it's actually worked out really well so far. Uh, the litter is under there. When we need to clean it out, we just lift it up. And it's actually done a great job of like covering up the smell. I haven't smelt it at all. And she seems to like it. It's nice and private for her. She has a nice little area to go to if she needs it. This is one of my favorite spots on the bus. This is where all the magic happens. Um, we've made some pretty nice meals already, I must say, if I do say so myself. So the fridge, I mean, it's not the biggest, obviously. It gets the job done, and also Jamie and I are pigs, so <laughs> it's more of like a puzzle trying to fit everything in here, but it works. So we have lots of storage for all of the food that we have. Um, storage in here and then more just stuff we'll get that organized that's on our list of things to do we have time now so we can do that here is our stove um, it has a cooktop and an oven which has been very handy for us it does pretty much all the same things that a regular oven would do it has been a little bit tricky getting used to this because it kind of heats up from the bottom not the top so that I would say that's the biggest difference between this and a regular oven um, we made cookies the other night and the bottoms did burn. We still eat them though. The sink, it's really great having a nice big sink so that if we have any dirty dishes, we can just hide them in there. Uh, under here, we have our garbage, recycling, all that good jazz. Pippa's food is hiding in there as well. And then under here, we have a nice big drawer with just some pots and pans. Nothing too special in there. Here is my sack of balls. <laughs> um, we have not completed our entire kitchen yet. I have a few more things that we want to add. Until then, our sack will just sit here. Gets the job done, so I mean, I'm not complaining. So over here is one of my favorite parts of the bus. We have our snack segment here, our cups, a good old um, cocktail maker right here, essential to getting through quarantine life. I don't know what's up there because I can't see anything up there in my phone. Down here, just some pencils, more food, and more food. And then if we turn around, we've got this lovely um, table. This is this is definitely one of my favorite parts of the bus. So we have this, I don't know what this is, like 30 something inch widescreen monitor. We connect our Apple TV to it or our computers if we're doing work. And then you can have the table like this, maybe it's like extra counter space or just like a breakfast bar for when you're eating for a snack. And then if you want more counter space or you need a bit, bit of a bigger work area, just pull the chairs out like so, swing the TV out and then this folds out to a double countertop. Then you got all this area to work. Work time. Playtime. Work time. <laughs> Playtime. And then this, if you're in bed, you can 
kind of swing it and kind of see it from bed. But if you're on the couch, you can angle it towards the couch. It goes up, it goes down, it does all this fancy stuff. So like wherever you are on the bus, you can pretty much watch TV or do whatever you're doing. So the reason we did this was like to keep this area as open as possible. So you still got something to like eat on or rest your laptop on. Then when you want to get down to business, you can fold it out and really get going. Um, next to the, the table, we've got this little tiny wood stove from Northwoods Fabrication. And then we've got the stove pipe from tinywoodstove.com or .org. This thing's great. It heats the bus up within like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. You, you're pretty toasty in here. We've got a little compartment back here for all our wood and burning material. And then we got this, this little propane heater. This was like 90 bucks. Um, for like mornings when we just can't be bothered to start the stove. We just crank this on for like 10 minutes just to get a bit of heat in here. So our curtains, we went with a pipe actually for the rod rather than a regular curtain rod. It was actually way less expensive to do it that way and we thought it looked a little bit cooler. For now we've just decided to go with the very inexpensive Timex of hemp. Um, it was literally a dollar from the dollar store. Um, but it's really done a great job. We got these curtains from Amazon or something. They were like seven bucks for two of them. And when you want to not see the creepy neighbors, you can just very easily untie them. This is our closet. His and hers. I'm kind of taking up more than half, but okay, that's fine too. <laughs> I'm taking up a little bit more than half. Jamie and I, between this and then these two drawers, that's where all of our clothes are. Jamie's. I don't know if I want to open one. Yes. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't even know you had that much. So it's, it looks really unorganized, <laughs> but it is organized. Like if you ask me where anything was, I could find it. So it's an un, it's an organized, unorganized mess. I can, I can find anything in there. It is what it is. In this little crevice over here, we have our laundry basket and then more storage for things like blankets. This is like our control center of the bus almost. This is just the light switch for the, the front half of the bus. This is our water heater so we can set the temperature that we want the water to come out at. Then this is our inverter, just in charge of like all our solar stuff. And this is a gas and propane carbon oxide alarm, just to keep us safe. And then under here, this is where all of our electrical stuff is. So like our batteries, our inverter, um, fuse boxes, all that stuff, it's all closed off, but it's vented just in case it gets too hot. You need air to be able to go through it. Then on my right, we've got this barn door. Um, this was real cheap, simple to do. Like we made this door, then this hardware was like, I don't know, 30 bucks, maybe 40 bucks, something like that. So it just slides open. We have our bathroom. So this way is our shower. We went with subway tile. Um, we've got a waterfall shower head and this handheld shower head also. It's like four foot deep, so it's actually quite deep, but I mean, width wise, it's pretty tight, but hey, it's a bus. Then over here, we've got our toilet. Um, this is the nature's head composting toilet. And then it has a fan that goes to the outside, which takes all the fumes out. It's pretty good. The only annoying thing is like the the P section of it fills up super fast. So we probably have to empty the P bit like every two days, every one or two days, which is really annoying. The number two section we haven't actually emptied yet. Then we've got this pallet shelf. It's pretty neat. We made this. It was like cost us nothing. Just all of our bathroom boring stuff. We went with a tiled floor. I really like how this turned out. It looks, it looks super cool. So Jamie and I are really tall. I'm about 5'11", Jamie's about 6'4". So we obviously had to raise the roof, which you probably could see. And we made our bed really tall just for storage sake. So there's one of two ways you can get up. You can either kind of get a running start and jump up or there's this- Wait, 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 I wanna see that. What? I wanna see that. Okay, <laughs> so you can. <laughs> <laughs> Option two is Jamie built this wooden step here, is what he's calling it. I don't really believe it's a step. But yeah, wooden step here. You can just step right up there, there. And that's a little bit more graceful. 
um, if you're not feeling athletic. Come on up here with me. So we have the window here. This provides light into the shower, so it's really nice for that. And it's also nice if you want to spy on each other. It's really creepy, I don't do that. <laughs> I did do that in the last video. And then there's more storage over here, which we don't even have stuff to put in here yet. The most important thing about this bus, he's hiding right now, but he's a very important piece of my life that will always be with me. Jamie tries to get rid of him, but he will never leave our sight. So this is Blanky. He has, there's a large story about him. I don't know if you want to know or care. <laughs> but basically, you can't feel how heavy it is, obviously, but there's like 10 blankets inside of here. I've had him since the time I was a baby. And he gets really destroyed because obviously I sleep with him every night. I used to bring him everywhere with me, but I've, I've grown up, so I don't bring him like everywhere with me anymore, just on big trips or I just sleep with him. So yeah, now that we've gone inside for the daytime, I want to take you upstairs using the handy dandy ladder that I built. So let's slide right on down. You literally can slide right out of it. So it feels like a slide. Jamie, I know you're back here. Yeah. You might think this is a rug, just a rug. But if you look closely, we have a secret latch under the rug, which goes up. And then these go down as well. This rolls all the way down, and then this clips on here. We actually had a recommendation from someone to do this, so we aren't swinging like Tarzan. I think it was the, same, the exact thing they said. So shout out to whoever that was. This is our roof deck. So this is our propane water heater. This is a Gerard something. I actually wouldn't recommend it. I've had like so many issues with it this week. I had to take it apart twice to figure it out. It just seems like it's a bit temperamental. So I wouldn't really recommend getting this one. Then in the back of the bus. So on this side is all our water system. We've got a 100 gallon water tank here. Right on cue we have a water pump. This is a filter and then it goes into our main system. Some more deep storage here. This goes back for miles. And on the other side, this is the water heater that I showed you from the outside. And then this is where we will put our bicycles. Um, like I, we were saying earlier, the bed's so high up so we can make this work. And then we'll probably hang like all our bags and outdoor gear up here. So this is just where the water goes into the bus where we fill up with the hose. This here is our 30 amp socket. Um, so right now we're plugged into Kelsey's parents' house. <laughs> Thank you guys. This goes straight into our battery bank um, and then gets distributed around the bus. And then we built this compartment onto the bus. This houses our two propane tanks um, and then just more storage again. I'll probably put tools in here and things like that. So our propane system, we have two tanks. These are just like the ones you get for your barbecue or whatever. And then this, this mechanism connects to both tanks. So say this one runs out, you can then switch onto this tank and then get that one refilled. And that is the outside of the bus. I'm going to demonstrate for you how effortless this little table folds out. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along here. Whirly twirly it is. <laughs> There's probably a poopy in my <laughs> And it goes really deep in. It goes really deep. It goes, it goes really down. So um, if we have it any. It goes really down. <laughs> it's really deep. We live in new life. <laughs> rolling. Sweating. They see me rolling. I'm burping myself. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I just start to ramble and then it's like <laughs> go down a bad me. path. <laughs>